In this video, we are going to be looking at the process of rebuilding a Kitagawa cylinder at our facility. The video will show how certain operations are done to make the rebuild go as smooth as possible. If you are looking to rebuild Kitagawa cylinders yourself, we recommend using our rebuild manual and using this video as a visual. We are going to be looking at the rebuild process of our S-type and SS-type cylinders. We start by showing the assembly of the S-type then move to the SS type. Once we are working on the SS series, then the same steps are done with the S type. First, O-rings are installed in corresponding locations. A diagram of the O-ring location is included with the seal kit. The piston then gets installed into the cylinder chamber, making sure the guide pins are lined up with the receiving holes in the cylinder chamber. O-rings can then be installed into the cylinder chamber as shown. O-rings are then installed into the holes in the rotary valve as shown. Then, valves are installed. Make sure the valve cap with the hole is placed on the opposite side of the hole marked in the video. The other valve cap is then installed. The rotary valve is then installed, making sure the o-ring on the cylinder is lined up with the drilled hole on the side of the rotary valve. Once the rotary valve is oriented properly, use two hands to press the rotary valve down as shown. Bolts are then hand tightened. O-rings can then be installed on the cylinder sleeve and bearings can be installed into the sleeve using a mallet and a press.
Next, we move on to the SS cylinder. The same operations are done as the S cylinder. Valves are assembled and installed into the cylinder chamber. Make sure to install the valve pin so that the valve pin with the holes near the top is installed on the same side as that of the cylinder chamber with two rings as shown. The rotary valve is then installed, making sure that the two holes on the side of the rotary valve are lined up with the corresponding o-ring in the cylinder chamber as shown. The other side has three o-rings. The ring is then installed and hand tightened to the rotary valve.
the cylinder housing can be placed on a heating element. Next, the ring is installed in the housing, making sure the bevel side is facing up. The cylinder sleeve is then installed using a mallet and press. The set screw can then be installed. The cylinder is then installed on our test bench and the runout is tested and adjusted. Twenty microns runout is within spec. Once runout is adjusted, the Allen bolts are then torqued to spec as shown. After the runout is set, the cylinder housing is installed. Hose fittings are then installed, and hoses are hooked up. The function of the cylinder is then tested. For more information regarding cylinder rebuilds or new cylinders, please contact us at info at kitagawa-usa.com or call us at 847-310-8787.